and an additional budget on top of the 125 trillion won, that's roughly 104 billion U.S. dollars, will be earmarked for the first quarter of this year. That's what Korea's finance ministry is considering as an attempt to further boost the nation's economy hit by slowing exports. Now, Yoo Il-ho, who doubles as a deputy prime minister, told reporters earlier today saying details of the supplementary budget or measures will be disclosed at a later date. He also stood with the Park administration in calling on lawmakers to pass urgent bills critical to revitalizing the economy. Song ji Sun reports. Like standing on the edge of a cliff. That's how Seoul's team of economic chiefs describe the current situation. Saying that the nation's future depends on the reforms, ministers urged lawmakers to pass economic bills as soon as possible, adding that policies are only complete with legislation. No reform is valid without timely legislation. The government has done its best to persuade the parliament to expedite passage of the bills, but time is no longer on our side. Senior President Secretary for Economic Affairs An Jung Bum held a separate briefing in the afternoon, calling on lawmakers to let the government do its job first and later evaluate the outcomes. Citing the success of crowdfunding sites, he called on the need to deregulate and carry out reforms in the finance, labor, education, and public sectors. It took more than two years for the bill to be passed, which enables smaller firms to raise funds through various platforms, including the Internet. A set of bills aimed at revitalizing the economy remain pending, including the one promoting the service sector. It's been over four years since the bill was proposed. On claims, passage of the bill would result in the creation of an extra 690,000 new jobs in the sector and boost the nation's growth by half a percentage point. With sluggish growth around the globe, including in Seoul's biggest trading partner, China, the presidential office stressed it is not enough to wait on demand to recover and that reforms are the only answer. The government will announce further plans to boost domestic demand on Wednesday at a meeting of economy-related ministers. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.